Hey folks, I got a couple of great videos for you today. I got one coming out here in a little while. It'll be about Jim Jordan. He is clashing with a guy named Chuck Todd. I don't know if you know who the guy is, but he is just orange man, bad kind of guy. And it looks like Jim Jordan just sets his ass pretty straight. I thought it was great. That'll be the second video of the day. But this first one, I'm going to leave you a 15-second clip at the very end of the video. I thought it was very inspiring. It was when Trump was in South Carolina. A uh, lady there at a uh, cashier at a restaurant there where Trump showed up while he was doing his rally there. She asked him if she could pray for him, and I th thought it was just an awesome thing. And uh, speaking of prayer, that's the uh, first thing I want to talk to you all about on this um, Gateway Pundit video I'm making you all uh, today. Before I get into that, I want to say a couple of things. Uh, I tried to monetize my channel, and they will not monetize it at this point, even though I'm out of the strike zone at the moment. And uh, it's because of, I guess, the way I do my videos, I should spend more time talking about the video than actually playing the videos, like the um, like the little short videos that I tend to put up sometimes without enough commentary. So I'm going to change the way I do things for a little while over here on YouTube and see if it'll help. I'm going to have to reapply in March. But in the process, I'm going to end up cleaning up my channel, meaning a lot of the videos I've made in the past, I will be deleting. So nobody panic. It's just what I have to do. I have to clean up my channel. Now, let me go ahead and get, get into what I wanted to tell you all about today. I thought this was pretty interesting. Speaking about uh, a couple of things that I thought were uh, for, uh, very um, blessed, is the best way to put it, I guess you would say. Uh, we're very blessed as um, conservatives to have a lot of these um, conservative commentators to help bring us the truth. We've got like the Project Veritas and the Heritage Foundation and the Gateway Pundit, and uh, James O'Keefe, Tom Fenton. There's dozens and dozens of um, organizations out there that are just organizations and news companies out there just trying to bring us the truth, Rebel News. Uh, and one of the things I really, really like about the Gateway Pundit is they tend to find several news sources from every direction that most people would never go out of their way to hunt and find. And they find those really um, truthful, honest, and um, uncovered stories. And they bring them to the forefront by putting them on their website. Now, Gateway Pundit has covered things from elections to uh, the Biden crime uh, allegations. Uh, everything that has went on pretty much over the last several years involving um, alleged corruption going on with a lot of these um people in the uh, medical industry and uh, they are just they they're like project veritas they are going after anybody and everybody they can with as much exposure as they can that's joe and jim hoff if you don't know who these guys are i do get a lot of my information from the gateway pundit because they are not just a source of news they are a conglomerate of news sources that are all uh, compiled into one place I mean, whoever's working at the Gateway Pundit, besides Jim and Joe Hoff, that are over there making sure that they're not just investigating things and looking after uh, stories and uh, truths that need to be told. They're also looking to help our J6 uh, prisoners every day. They've got something on their website explaining how um, these folks need help. These folks need uh, everything they can get to... Um, Help them in their situation, whether it be representation, whether it be financial uh, help. I'm just glad to see the Gateway Planet actually cares about the people. They're not just another news rag uh, like all of mainstream media. And that is what I know for a fact. I've been following the Gateway Planet for several years now. And they have to would have to say one of the greatest news sources there is out there, as far as I'm concerned, as far as being able to find uh, the news that, really hard to go search out and find. They got 50 or 100 sources of their own that they use to um, bring us the news of the day. So from now on, I try to do a little more commentary on my videos, a little less video footage for coming to sake. See if that helps out. Like I said, I will be deleting some videos. But let's go ahead and get into what I was talking about. Um, I went through this whole ex explanation of why I like the Gateway Pundit, why I think the Gateway Pundit is a blessing to us, whether any, whether most people realize it or not. And they're just one. There, there's dozens that I can name just off the top of my head of organizations that are just trying to help um, send our country in the right direction with free speech, 
um, just uh, anti-corruption uh, exposure of everything in politics that involves a little guy getting stepped on. Gateway Pundits always seems to find these stories and try to expose them. That's one of the reasons I do what I do is I like to expose things, whether I ever get monetized again or not. But at any rate, I do want to say I'm a, not a super religious person. Uh, I do watch church every Sunday um, with my wife. It's one of the things we do together every week as, as, as a norm. But uh, I would like to say for anybody that believes in God and does pray for things to be um, uplifted into God's hands to be handled in his way, in the very best way, like bringing peace on earth and um, the dem demise to this um, tyrannical situation that our country has fallen into. Um, I think I just so many things in this world, you just are out of our control. We do what we can, but they're out of our control. So a lot of things we just have to lift up to God and uh, just pray for. And so, like I said, at the end of this video, I like to give you a 15 second video of somebody praying for Trump. I thought it was very awesome. And I just want to uh, tell everybody this. Was, I thought this was a really great article. And um, this is why I think we should all pray for Gateway Pundit. Uh, just because they are the folks that... Um, that are help trying to save our country. Uh, best way I know how to put it. it says earlier to let me put on my goggles, folks. Oh, they're dirty. Hold on. There we go. It says earlier today, Joe Hoff, the Gateway Pundit, reported on a newly discovered classified document and content found on the laptop. This was a second report in our expose revealing the classified material on. Hunter's laptop on the computer. This comes after the New York Post. Miranda Devine reported on an email last week from the laptop that appeared to include classified material from the U.S. government. And when I get done reading this article, you understand why I say we need to pray for the Gateway Fund that the deep state is probably going to come after these folks with the FBI, the DOJ, uh, with their misinformation boards, whatever they got to uh, try to shut down maybe with the FCC, who knows, but they're going to come after the Gateway Pundit at one point. The Gateway Pundit is one of these major sources out of here that is exposing this, this stuff, and they said they are, have, got, have got exposure coming out this week that will be detrimental, so please pray for them. That's the point of this whole article, and I got a video for you about Jim and Joe Hoft um, having an interview, getting a little closer to the end, but let me go ahead and read for you what this article actually says. It says, exclusive second Hunter Biden email to drop from the laptop classified information un un uncovered. Hunter shared with Ukraine business colleagues and more is coming. This seems like to be a daily drip of all the news that's coming out. We've had smoking guns. We've got photographs. We've got laptop confirmation, allegedly. Uh, lots of things going on. Now, let me go ahead and read the disclaimer before I get to the end of, the, end of this, just because it says, this is all these reports that implicate the Bidens at this point. Uh, they only say they have, uh, let me just say it like this. Please note, the emails is the email is the original source data taken directly from Hunter's laptop by the investigating work of John Paul Isaac, the laptop owner, uh, laptop shop, uh, repair shop owner. Uh, this is the only source of verifiable content of for the Hunter Biden laptop. The chain of custody is known and complete. This is the only source that has chain of custody verification has, and has been authenticated and came from the original source image from the Hunter Biden laptop. Meaning that any other version of the laptop out there is not 100% credible due to the chain of custody possibilities. Now let me go ahead and read you the rest of the article. That was just kind of the disclaimer. Says the FBI has been holding onto Hunter's laptops since 2019. They have failed to act on this classified material that was shared by Hunter Biden with his business associates and foreign operatives. This was criminal conduct. The FBI uh, knows this and covered it up until now. Now, this is a uh, speculation uh, on the Gateway Pundit's part. I have to say that at this point, but uh, as far as the American public knows, anybody that's paying attention to the news, we see what's going on with our own eyes, and we've definitely got our own opinion about it. The Gateway Pundit uh, is trying to expose the information in a series of reports later this week. 
Now, it says, uh, we are asking for your prayers at this time. These reports implicate, now this is the catcher right here. This report implicates the sitting U.S. president and his son in several major criminal, alleged criminal acts and likely acts of the T word, if you know what I'm talking about, and espionage, and understand that this information will shake up Washington. Our intent is it only is to only provide the truth to the American people. We are also wise enough to know that there will also there will always be those who do not want this information public out there uh, out there to the public and published. It says, and as always, thank you for your support for the Gateway Fund. Um, please pray for these folks. If you're a praying person, um, pray for all our news outlets out there, including the Gateway Pundit, that are just trying to do the right thing and get the truth out. A little bit of more. This is a little bit more confirmation of what I was telling you about in the last video, just uh, coming out of the man's mouth himself, uh, Mr. Hoft, about um, what's to come from these classified documents, including alleged criminality. Let's check it out. Let's check out the video together. All right, this is where we turn to Gateway Pundit. Every Monday, there's Joe Hoff from the Gateway Pundit, his brother Jim, the founder, of course, uh, and we have him rotating every week. Uh, before we get to this J6 story that we wanted to talk about, uh, new this morning, you have two more emails from the Hunter laptop that appear to show this classified information. The context is, we told our viewers last week that Miranda Devine from the New York Post had found one email um, from several years ago before uh, Joe Biden went on a vice presidential trip to Ukraine that seemed to have a cut and paste job of classified information that Hunter took and put in an email to one of his business partners. Joe, you're now breaking that there's more emails apparently with classified information. What do you have? Uh, that's correct, Ed. There's, uh, there's actually quite a bit more, and we're going to be dripping this out over the next week or so. We've got a number of emails that we've identified that have classified information in them, and that's breaking news. And, it, and, and we'll be dropping this stuff, and it's, it's really seedy stuff. Last night, Ed, we put up a second email, um, the first being Miranda um, uh, Devine's email that came out last week. We, we validated that email that that was tied back to the, sec uh, the State Department under Obama. This one last night... Um, also came out of the Hunter Biden laptop, and um, then this morning we've got a we've got a third one that's coming out right now. And in this email that's on Hunter's laptop, you see a basically this this firm by the name of um, <clears throat> I'm sorry Blue Star Strategies, and they're yeah. connected to Hunter like like crazy. And anyways, this firm somehow was able to get on a conference call with the White House. In, in uh, back in 2015, uh, back in December, and they obtained and, and drafted a memo of the minutes of this conference call, and later that afternoon shared this information with Hunter, Devin, uh, Archer, Hunter's friend at Burisma, with uh, another individual at Burisma, and with people at both uh, uh, Rosemont Seneca, which is uh, Hunter's firm, as well as a uh, number of individuals at this uh, firm, uh, Blue so Star Joe, Strategy. Let's pause right there for a second. I want to get more details. But Karen's <laughs> laughing as she hears it. I'm like, where's, where's the FBI? Where's, yeah. I mean, where where is well, I, my mind is blown right now? I mean, this is no. classified this information. Is this is here, way there. so well, much worse than most of us you're, thought. You're, you're absolutely right, Karen. Here's the here's the here's the deal. This is not just stealing classified information, which is which is a felony. Just having it in your possession can be a felony. Um, it, right. Having holding classified information, but in addition to that, it's being shared with foreign entities. In this case, Burisma, a firm in Ukraine. That's espionage. That's sharing, you know, classified information overseas. This is. These are major material uh, crimes. Last night we had a similar email, and now here we are now, and we've got more. And and this, you're right, Karen. This stuff is it's beyond just uh, you know having classified information. It's taking that information and sharing it overseas, which is a you know material crime. This is this is could be sedition, treason, right? 
no charges, no charges, no nothing. This man has not been arrested. They have not done a single thing. Not they haven't one, raided not Hunter's home. Not one thing. They haven't no. raided. I no. mean, this is just, uh, you know, and we all know there's a two-tier justice system. We all know this is bad. But this takes it to another level for me. It does. Which I didn't yeah. think it could get any worse. Yeah, absolutely. Ahead, and that's maybe... Sorry, Ed, but that's probably why they raided Trump in the first place. They're trying to build this narrative that Trump is just as bad as Hunter and his kids are just as bad as Hunter and nothing could be further from the truth. His kids are great kids and Hunter Biden was an animal as well as the Bidens. And this actually implicates Joe Biden as well because it's minutes from a, a conference call about Joe Biden that is being shared overseas right before his trip overseas. So this is not just a little deal here. This is we're, we're starting to find some real major, major league issues and our FBI silent. And they've had this laptop since 20, 2020, 2019, 20. And they haven't and they haven't and they're hiding all this. I mean, what's going well, on? And they called it the 51 Intel, former Intel officials who signed the letter saying the laptop was Russian disinformation. Now we know why they were lying. That's not true because they wanted to cover up these kinds of crimes and they well, it's all starting to come out, folks. The pieces are starting to fall together more and more and more every day. And it's just a matter of time now, it looks like, before the full story gets put together like a puzzle. And uh, Mr. Joe, Jim and Joe Hoft, I have to say, these guys are definitely um, soldiers for the truth. And uh, they're like a lot of uh, conservative folks out there today that are just fighting. Um, this tyranny of censorship and everything that comes along with suppression of the truth. And um, a lot of these people are taking the slings and arrows of um, of the left for just trying to do the right thing. And that's why I ask everybody to pray for these folks. And uh, remember, the exposure is eventually going to lead to a change of thought process, if not prosecution behind all this alleged criminality that's going down in our country right before our eyes. Uh, like, subscribe, and share to Voted Patriots, and tell me what you think about this 15-second clip of this lady praying for Trump. Like, subscribe, and share to Voted Patriots. Over and out. Thank you very much. So you recommend his food, right? Yes, sir. You care about Frank? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Lord, I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray God that you just help him in this presidency.